Hey guys, so here's just a, a work in progress video of the uh, Star Wars Imperial Star Destroyer that I've been working on. Um, it's not an exact copy, it's kind of based on, but uh, you know, I've added in some of my own creativity here at the back. Um, I've added this access bay where smaller spacecraft could maybe fly in and access. I don't think that, uh, that was in the original, but uh, um, in general, I'm following the original concept and design of the Imperial Star, Star Destroyer. I, I looked up some of the uh, blueprints and some artwork that others have done and have based it on that. So there's about 10 hours of modeling in here so far. Uh, the majority of which has been spent on the engine bay. As you can see here, it's quite complex. We've got a lot of work in there. Um, I haven't even started yet on these buildings. Um, or any of the surface or the interior edges here. So there's still a long way to go with this model. Um, but the basic shape is there, the basic structure. And I'm quite happy now with the way the engine bay has turned out. There's a little bit of work I need to do on the edges here. Um, add in some more detail there. And I've started work here on the comms tower already. Um, so I'm not going to do a tutorial video exactly for this, like step by step, holding your hand. Uh, that would just take too long. Now, like I say, there's 10 hours of modeling here. It's probably going to be close to 50 hours by the time I finish. Uh, so what I will do, though, is later on I'll go back and I'll create some tutorial videos on how I did specific sections, like uh, how I made this rocket booster engine area, how I modeled the communications tower. Um, these uh, engine panels here, actually, although it looks very, very complex, I actually only worked on a quarter um, and then it's mirrored upwards and sideways uh, and a lot of this work is actually replicated you wouldn't really notice but I modeled a couple of panels and then it was just a matter of fitting those panels in overlapping them in places resizing them, spinning them around and by the time you do all of that uh, it's very difficult to realize that actually you've got the same object replicated maybe 20 times in one area and, and, and uh, a total of 80 times maybe over the whole engine bay. Um, but that's basically how I did that. So I didn't have to model the whole thing. It was uh, mostly mirrored. Um, so I'm quite happy with the way it's turning out so far. Like I said, it's still a long way to go and a lot more work to do. But uh, if you head over to my blog, uh, you'll be able to keep up to date there with the latest uh, tutorials that I'm doing and also the progress on this model and other pieces of work that I'm doing in, in Blender. So thanks for taking a look at this. Uh, please leave your comments below and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.